Oké, okay, hier is een station speciaal voor jou. web development. The term so many developers are striving for nowadays. When I was scrolling through Twitter yesterday in bed, I came across a tweet by Kenzie Dodds. He's releasing his new course now, Epic Web, where he teaches everything about web development, the full stack. And don't get me wrong, his content is really good. He teaches in a great way, he puts a lot of effort into his course, and it's just a really great asset to have. But he is teaching the full stack. And that is what I want to discuss today. Because why do all of us, or most of us, want to do the full stack? And what is it that I try to do a little bit different? When we're talking about the full stack, we're talking about doing everything from front end to back end development. So that means writing HTML, CSS, but also doing the whole back end server stuff, making sure that you integrate with authentication, for example, talk to databases, do something with data. You're just doing the whole picture. And that is, again, what we're all striving for. And it's also what Kent is telling in this tweet I came across last night. He's telling that this is pretty much where the industry is going. And that's also partially what you feel is the vibe when you're reading across Twitter and seeing everyone that's doing the full stack. But you know who I think is mainly doing full stack? It's these people who really want to be entrepreneurs and who want to build their own product. They want to build everything from A to Z because they're on their own and they don't have money to hire someone and they need to build a full product, the full stack. And that makes a lot of sense. But is that person really you? Are you trying to make a full product or are you just looking for a job and you want to work somewhere? I think learning that full stack is so broad. There is so much you need to learn. So there's also so many issues you can encounter. There's just so many topics and if you enjoy them, that's all fine. But if we just look at front end where my channel is about, only front end is already way too big to know it all. That it's okay if you don't know everything. Simply because the field we're working in is so immense. And I think the best products that are built out there are built by specialists. They're built by people who specialize, for example, in UI development. So they don't even specialize in front-end development. They simply specialize in building kick-ass UI. Or maybe they only create really, really sexy animations. And that's the only thing they do. And in my opinion, that is what you should become. Because that's also, at least if you're not building your own product, that's where also the money is at. Companies are looking for specialists and not very broad generalists. Lists. Or at least, of course, there's companies out there who do. But in my opinion, that's also the companies who don't make the best products. You need to have these specialists to really deliver kick-ass products. If you are a full stack developer, there is again so much you need to learn that you will never become that expert. Or maybe 15, 20 years into the future. So what will my approach be? Well, I've been doing this for well over a decade now, and I've always said, I am a front-end developer. I don't sell myself as a full-stack developer, even though I do back-end things, especially right now, I have to do them because I'm building a company and again, I also can't pay someone to build my own course platform. I really enjoy making the front-end and making things look good. So if you wanna work at a company, my advice is to focus on a very small niche and then start looking for companies who wanna hire people in that area instead of becoming that full stack developer that everyone aspires. Because firstly, I don't think you're gonna build the best products unless you have a lot of experience, 10 years plus maybe, and even me myself, I'm not the backend expert at all. I know my way around a little bit. And secondary, because you need to learn so much, chances are you are gonna burn out because there is so much you have to learn and you always think you're not good enough. And once you finally learn it, for example, next app directory, uh, I thought I kind of knew my way around it, but all of a sudden it seems that it's still too unstable for the thing I'm building. So now I need to switch and I'm gonna build it in Remix, my course platform, I guess. Maybe I'm gonna go with Astro, but even when I try that, there's probably new things I'm gonna encounter that are also not gonna work the way I want and that 
take a lot of time from me doing what I enjoy most, and that is making those beautiful experiences. So my advice is, yes, be interested in a full stack, try to talk to people who do the things you don't do so you at least learn from them, but don't force yourself to learn all of this. Simply try to find that niche that interests you most and focus on that. And if you're following this channel, I hope it's front-end development and perhaps it's accessibility as a small niche in that, because that is really when you're gonna deliver the most kick-ass experiences. Don't get overwhelmed by everything you have to learn or you think you have to learn. Focus on a small niche and put in the hours and it will take years to get, for example, where I am, simply because I specialized for over a decade. So take that time and go step by step. And then one day you'll wake up and you'll be the expert in that niche who knows a little bit about backend and databases and authentication as well, but who is not a full stack developer. That to me is the ultimate end goal. I don't strive to be a full stack developer. I don't need to. I'd rather collaborate with great backend engineers who can do cool stuff and probably in, for example, a more secure way than I could ever do because I can't spend all of the time in all of those areas. That's all I had for today's video. It's a bit of a different topic. It's not a tutorial, but I think it's very important to hear because there are so many people getting burned out by becoming a developer because of everything they have to learn. Remember this the next time when you're thinking about all of these things you have to learn. Try to make your world smaller and try to focus on a specific niche. That will eventually get you where you wanna be. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.